everyone welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing a really in-depth reading about your future partner soulmate girlfriend boyfriend whatever you want to call them okay so today we have four groups we have rose quartz group number one group number two with the clear quartz group number three with the yellow calcite and group number four with the blue gold stone okay i also have my astro dice and my letters in there so we're going to get really in depth into your person that you're going to be meeting okay so please choose your group and let's get started so starting off with group number one Hello group number one, let's get started with your reading. So we have these gorgeous rose quartz. I love this. Rose quartz is such a good crystal for manifesting love, attracting love, attracting self-love, that sort of thing. So as this is an in-depth reading and we've got quite a few cards to get through, we're going to start off with the top and then we're going to kind of go through as we go through. So we have snake, kundalini rising, channel your creative passion and sexuality, welcome the transformation. So that's really, really gorgeous. I love that. This is definitely going to be a massive transformational relationship it's going to be a relationship that feels really really nice and calm and just it feels intense but it feels really calm at the same time like it feels like it's meant to be it's meant to happen okay we also have gemini the butterfly i love that it's so gorgeous and then we also have aries and i love how we have kundalini rising because i feel like that's extremely transformative energy and also the butterfly is a very transformative animal as well Especially having Aries here as well, you could be meeting an Aries or a Gemini. Aries are also people who are very, very driven. They're people who are constantly on the go all the time, love their coffee, love their kind of mission. They're, some of them can be quite competitive, but a lot of them are extremely active, always on the go. Lovely people. Aries are one of my favourite star signs. I absolutely love Aries. So, right, so let's see what else we have. We have protection. You and your loved ones and your possessions are safe and protected by heaven. That is so gorgeous. Look at that picture, that's so pretty. So it's definitely going to be something that is really, really loving, a very creative, loving relationship. So from the next deck, we have Potential. I love that, that is so cute. Potential, Flow, and Nurture. Oh my God, this is so gorgeous. Everything feels so like synchronistic and and like loving, it just it doesn't feel like anything is forced. It, this all feels very, very synchronistic. We also have transformation, exactly as a very transformative energy. We then have fear. We then have quiet time. And from the animal spirit deck, we have time for a deep dive. Dream the world into being. Open to infinite possibilities. And this and that are true. We then have, for the main energy, we have polarity. Integrate your shadow side. There can be no light without dark. Understand the law of polarity. This one I feel like is literally the overall energy. I'm going to see if I can put this guy here. See if he's going to stay. Because I really feel like that's like the main energy. I feel like Kundalini rising and polarity are like the main energies. They're definitely a sort of energy that feels very, very enriching. And, and this is like almost like an achievement. And not to say that this relationship is like an achievement, like you like, but you earned it, you know, like I feel like you've gone through so much crap, like you've gone through so much intense energy. Um, and then from the tarot, we have the two of cups, the eight of cups and the eight of wands. So eight could also be your number, like your main number. Let me see if I can put these back here so you guys can see them a little bit better. This Two of Cups is obviously gorgeous. It's love energy. It's something that's very, very intense. It's just, oh, I love this group. This feels like such a mature adult relationship. Very, very intense. But also like you both have your boundaries. Like you both know where you stand. So in terms of Gemini, with this Gemini card, it's making me, sorry guys, I just hit the camera. This guy, this makes me feel like it's going to be a really kind of um, imaginative relationship. So you guys are definitely gonna be doing stuff all the time. I don't see you being bored. This could also be somebody with Gemini moon or Gemini rising, you know, all that jazz. It doesn't have to be the actual star sign, but they probably will have Aries or Gemini quite prominently in their chart. And with Geminis, they are very, 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 very good at communicating, okay? They're people who constantly are talking all the time, but they're really, really great. I love people who talk all the time, like I love that. Because it's just, it's open communication is like the best thing in a relationship. That's definitely something that you like really, really want, okay? So in terms of this fear card, I definitely feel like you have felt like you, it's just been fear-based. A lot of your life has been quite, 
you've been in quite a lot of fear, you've had quite a lot of anxiety, you dealt with a lot of mental health, depression, that sort of thing. This relationship is going to make you feel so freaking good. All the things that you've been through, all the possible people that you could have been with are not going to match up to this person. This person has so much freaking potential and their Gemini is going to help you to nurture you as well. Um, you could also have these in your chart as well. <coughs> Excuse me. And I feel like you guys, that as I said, the flow is going to be absolutely amazing. There's a lot of feminine energy here. So the person is really going to understand you and your feminine energy or your masculine energy. It's definitely going to be a really good kind of combination of masculine and feminine. And this is almost making me feel like there's also going to be a really good connection with masculine and feminine. Fem feminine? <laughs> feminine. It's very transformative. And the fact that we have flow with transformation, it's just an ultimate like satisfaction of I got here. I got here and we're here and it's just amazing. I love this so much. It's definitely going to be a very, very deep relationship. It's going to be somebody who you are most likely going to be with for life because we have the swan and swans mate for life. I'm pretty sure they do. Um, the lizard spirit always makes me feel like a really hot country. So this could be somebody who is from a really hot country. Um, they could Their family could originate from a hot country. They could be born in just like a, a cold climate. They could be born anywhere. I feel like at least their family or their heritage is from mainly based from a hot country so i'm feeling africa i'm getting um i keep getting kundalini the word kundalini keeps coming up um i also i'm just gonna like channel loads of words because they're not giving me a specific country so telling me the word tai chi um also telling me the word house so you're going to be in a house with each other you're going to be building a house with each other you could actually be building a house from scratch some of you could also be uh traveling the world with this person or you could have be traveling the world with this person and then you find the, this person for some of you i feel like this is specific just for a few of you that you have you like bikes and you have that in common there's something about travel here where you are kind of in like a van or like a mini house and you kind of build that together or you're already in one and then that's how you meet you kind of have that in common um yeah i'm definitely getting like house building house creation you're just creating a house with each other i definitely feel like for a lot of you, you're gonna have children with this person for some of you i feel like are watching this are around 30 ish and you want that definitely for sure so uh, obviously not everybody wants children but i'm definitely getting a lot of you are around the age of 30 who, who chose this group um for a lot of you guys this this person is very much somebody who likes to take both sides. Aries, I feel like, are extremely neutral. I, this is why I love them, because they're so neutral. They're never on either or side. They're more or less in the middle when it comes to relationships. They're normally some people who kind of like to create flow and like to create a really nice environment for the person that they're, you know, that they're with. And they're somebody who is going to create a really gorgeous home for you. You know, it's somebody who's going to, really help you to be embodying your own energy because i feel like obviously for a lot of us it can be really difficult to even be a human you know like it can be really really difficult because sometimes it just feels like obviously we are spiritual beings in human bodies that's basically what i feel and sometimes it can be really hard to embody that sometimes sometimes it, sometimes it can just be really really intense so it's really really good that we have this flow here because it's just basically telling you that everything's going to be fine we're going to they're going to nurture you and everything's going to come in synchronistic form so we have 3 13 and 49 so obviously 4 and 9 is 13 which 3 and 1 is 4 we also have 3 and we have 4 here so 3 and 4 are definitely your numbers we're also going to roll the dice and see what other number is going to be um, a sign when this person is going to be coming in so we have yep number four so that's beautiful so definitely going to be somebody who is stable long lasting transformative and this person is just so happy go lucky i feel like they're just open to anything and you're going to have a really gorgeous relationship like you guys are just meant to be together and this is also as i say going to be a time when you guys are exiting i'm um, hearing exiting the premises and when i get that it's normally you are um embodying a new a new you and you're kind of coming out of this really really intense time where um it was just it's just very intense and it was just really hard for you to um create your own life and just as I say, even embody your own energy. It was it was hard because a lot of you have mental health issues and things like that. I feel like you've chosen this group, um, so you've, you're walking away from that. You're walking away from your shadow side. In terms of you've worked on your shadow side, not to say you're kind of completely leaving it, but you're. Um, <coughs> excuse my throat just suddenly really hurts. So you're definitely it's like to do communication as well. There's gonna be a lot of communication in this relationship. So let's see. <coughs> in terms of this person, let's get a little bit more information then. 
So we have the third house with Aquarius and we also have Neptune. So because we have this combination, this is definitely going to be somebody you're going to be connecting with on a really, really deep level. And we do have this also, this I feel like it's just majorly clarifying everything that you have here. Obviously this is Aquarius, so they're very, very intuitive. They're people who are very, very spiritual. They love anything that you can't see. So imagination, dreams, esoteric reality, you know, astro travel, that sort of thing. So it's definitely going to be a, a relationship that's really, really just a lot of energy and with this kundalini energy i really feel like this relationship is going to be um very almost tantric that tantric energy that um a lot of people talk about in terms of like sex and intimacy that sort of thing so as i say this is definitely going to be a very deep relationship it's all about psychic abilities and normally with people who have aquarius in neptune they can pick up on what people are thinking so you guys are definitely going to have a really good understanding of each other and you're going to really really kind of figure out what you both enjoy and you're both going to understand each other at a really deep level so let's see what letters we have okay we have the letter a q p and we also have m so you could be named pam or map so a lot of you guys i'll say could be traveling let's have a look and see what else we have we have the letter N, so a nap. You guys could like napping together. This is so cute. Okay, O and Z. So if you guys can see any letters or words that kind of you think are gonna to relate to you, then obviously feel free to have a look into that. I'm also going to be doing some channeling and we're gonna be seeing what sort of messages want to come through for this person. I'm going to channel and see what sort of the person that they look like. Obviously, it doesn't have to be exactly accurate, but we're going to have a look and see what sort of images we can get for this person. So I'm definitely getting expansion for sure, like expansion through and through. Like expansion is so huge for this relationship. I feel like it's really going to come across there. Um, I'm also getting the word synchronicity. OK, so this is definitely going to be something that you're going to see syn syn okay i can't get say the word you're definitely going to see synchronicities when you meet this person i'm getting the word lake like a lake so you probably meet this person at a lake or you have water qualities to this person so you could have your star sign in um scorpio cancer and pisces um i'm definitely hearing harry potter and anything to do with um fantasy so in terms of what this person looks like, I'm getting brown hair, uh, blue eyes. I'm also getting ginger hair as well. Um, I'm getting, for some of you, if it's, if it's a woman specifically or a female, like as in a feminine person, person you who relate to as feminine, I feel like they're smaller and then the male masculine energy is taller. Um, what else are we getting? I'm feeling, I'm definitely getting like caravans and um, VW vans, so Volkswagen vans. Sorry if my writing is really messy. I'm really trying not to shake this table because it's a bit unstable, this table. Um, yeah, I feel like, yeah, overcoming fear, overcoming fear of relationships. Um, I feel like for a lot of you, you could have been let down quite a lot and it could have been very, very hard for you, you know? So these are the messages. Sorry, guys. It's going to be really, really messy writing. I do apologise. But this is kind of what I'm feeling. And I'm also getting the need to just draw like a massive love heart with like a plus in it. I don't know why. I feel like for some of you, you could be doctors or you could meet a doctor or nurse because I feel like this is to do with medical for some reason i'm not sure why but it's kind of related me to that i'm also getting a tree so there's going to be a hell of a lot of growth in this relationship and you guys are going to grow like so much you guys are just going to grow like together and it's going to be such a magical time and i also feel the need to draw like a sun and it's going to like you want to nurture each other like the sun nurtures the earth um, and i'm also getting the, the word gaia i don't know how to spell gaia <laughs> I'm just gonna say Earth because I don't know how to spell Gaia. It's completely gone out of my head. 
So that is your reading, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you like this reading, then if you like this reading, then please let me know. Um, I want to do more in-depth readings like this. So if you would like to, then please let me know down below. I'm going to put this in front of the camera again so you guys can see it. If you guys want to screenshot that or anything like that, then this is the extra messages. Thank you so much for being here, group one. I really appreciate you and I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye. Hello group number two, let's get started with your reading. So as I say, it's going to be a very in-depth reading, so get a cup of tea, get comfy. Um, we also have the Astro Dice, the Dice, and I'm going to do a little bit of channeling as well and seeing what this person is all about, any sort of messages that you need to know about this type of person. So we have, get the rose quartz out of the way, we have this gorgeous clear quartz, absolutely amazing, I love clear quartz. This is such a gorgeous crystal to channel, by the way, guys. So if you're looking to do mediumship or tarot work, clear quartz is so good because you can basically create it in um, manifest it into any sort of crystal because it's basically the base of all crystals because it's clear. So let's get started with the reading. We're going to kind of go into different sections. We're going to start off with each card separately and as we go. So we have, oh my god, this is perfect. Tiger, divine timing. Good things come to those who wait. And I feel like a lot of you guys are going to really laugh at that because that is just such like a typical thing for people to say like it all come in divine timing, which it does, but it's also annoying for us especially for us stubborn signs, okay? I am a thick sign, I'm Scorpio, so divine timing pisses me off sometimes. <laughs> okay, so we also have passion, fifth house. That is so gorgeous, I love that. By the way, guys, I'm gonna put the cards, the main cards up, up here because they're gonna be like the main energy. We also have Taurus, the bombshell, gorgeous. We then have make a wish. This is a magical moment, make a wish and enjoy its manifestation. So you guys definitely are manifesting this person for sure. 100% like you guys are really really manifesting this person this is going to be somebody who you've wanted for such a long time or they're going to pop up very very randomly that I've just heard so we have simplify we have surrender and we also have forgive so for a lot of you guys you could be forgiving the past you could be forgiving people who haven't made you happy people who have really made you feel very annoyed with love people who have made you think okay when is this going to happen is anything ever going to happen with any of my relationships is anything going to manifest why does everything take so freaking long you know it's that sort of thing so I definitely feel like you would just need to forgive yourself and just surrender to this moment I feel like for this group especially you guys are really really struggling with divine timing and struggling with coping with your ego that sort of thing and just thinking I just want it to happen now so I do feel like your advice here is to just simplify your life and make sure that you're not concentrating directly on this thing because I know obviously guys I know how hard it is it's easier said than done so trust me I'm I'm there and I've been there you know I've been in this energy before so in terms of these energies here we have the fifth house and we have Taurus so this is all about the um, creation of performance creativity romance that sort of thing okay so this is all about the practical it's going to be like practical romance okay so it's going to be an element of somebody who really loves romance but they're really going to constantly do it okay and Tauruses are all about love they love anything loyal anything like long lasting you know you could be connected with an earth sign and have the number five as well um this is also a message to say that you guys are connecting with somebody who is possibly a little bit hard-headed um and possibly a little bit stubborn but obviously as I said could be a little bit stubborn as well you could also be a Taurus not to say every Taurus is stubborn not to say every fixed sign is stubborn but most of us are not gonna lie um so it also it's also rules passion pleasure parties children performance entertainment creativity play definitely be a really playful energy really romantic really playful I love this so much this is a really gorgeous energy and I feel like for you guys it's just understanding that this will come in divine timing and to just ultimately surrender and simplify everything that you've kind of thought about. I really do feel like this, um, these moons at the moment are really changing our perspective on life. So if you're really feeling the effect of the moon, whether it's a full moon, new moon, anything to do with the moon, I really do feel like this is the group for you, okay? So we have heart protection, which I definitely feel like is to do that surrender and it's purple as well. So it's really making sure that you're not protecting your heart too much or you're not really enjoying life. We have courage. So this is a courage to love. This is a courage to understand that everything will come at the divine timing. And it's okay, guys. It's okay to want a relationship. Like, you are allowed to. And I feel like some of you, you feel quite teary listening to this. Because I feel like my, my throat is really, really hurting. So and I feel like I need to cry. So I do feel like a lot of you have been feeling very, very sad about relationships. But look at this. 
Oh my god, I feel like you guys really need to see this. This is crazy. Number two, new beginnings. And two, obviously, is about relationships, about partnership. That is so stunning. And we also have wisdom. So you're gonna be wise going through this relationship. Oh my god, we have two twice, guys. That is crazy. Look at those. We have two and two and twenty-two. Oh my god. I love that. That's crazy. It makes me tingle. I love that. Okay, let's have detoxification. So this is about you detoxifying old relationships that don't serve you. Any relationship that has felt crappy, has felt yuck, has felt ill. You know, my words aren't coming out as very uh like posh today we but we're, we're trying okay but i do feel like this person's going to really enjoy reading books of you this is going to be a very intellectual person you both are going to go through a very very similar stage in your life okay we also have the badger spirit be fearless and bold yes courage exactly so be fearless and bold to go forward into this relationship i feel like a lot of you guys are going to debate whether this is the right person and then you're going to come back to me and be like, Vicky, like, who is this person? Who have you brought me? You know, <laughs> who have you told me about? But it's like, it's because this person's going to be so out of your, like, almost out of your vision where you kind of felt, okay, I want someone great, but am I really going to manifest that? Fuck yes. Sorry for my language, but I swear on this channel, okay? F yes. <laughs> okay, number four, it's going to be very stable. And we have so steady wins the race exactly guys so you could be connecting with a fire sign aries leo sag or a water sign cancer and scorpio pisces as well because those two really resonate i feel like with those star signs we have six and two which is eight and four both are very very strong numbers and i feel like eight is very very spiritual as well um and number four i say is very steady and so i wins the race and that's basically what this is all about divine timing it's just making sure that you're okay like making sure you're okay you know and you're not constantly focusing on a relationship because it will come guys it will exactly here we go count your blessings take pleasure in simple things always expect the best guys okay i'm sorry if i'm really like giving you the strong hard truth but honestly guys just really really come into your own you are just go 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 come on guys you can do this okay we also have strength exactly <laughs> with this courage we also have the queen of pentacles so it's really going to be a time when you're going to be flourishing the more you flourish yourself which sounds kind of weird to say it like that but they're just telling me like the more you flourish yourself the more you concentrate on loving yourself and concentrate on fulfilling your own cup what feels good to you what makes you happy you know this relationship is going to create that 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 for you you know and the more you create it for yourself before this person comes in the better this will be we also have like the tiger really resonates with me as a fire sign as well i'm not getting a massive amount of air in this group but i do feel like there's definite earth water and, and fire and definitely getting pisces for this group too so we're also going to be looking into the astro dice and we're going to see what this person's uh, extra kind of qualities are let's see what else i love this new beginning though guys this is absolutely stunning and we do have the moon here as well so i just guys this is so synchronistic i love this so much so let's see what else we have for the astro dice okay guys so we have scorpio we have uranus and we have the 12th house so this is obviously scorpio in the 12th house or uranus in the 12th house and with uranus in the 12th house these are people who can lack confidence it's people who can have unusual sleep patterns and romanticize a lot so i do feel like if that's not you this will be the other person but i do feel like with this scorpio energy this is going to be something that is very very intense very very creative and loving and just guys this is just wow this is just definitely somebody who's very very spiritual guys this is so amazing i love it this just feels so like intense and raw and especially because i feel like i am relating to this reading a lot as well with a scorpio obviously my, my star sign is scorpio so i do feel like i'm relating to this group too and with that 12th house in uranus relates very much to me i have very unusual sleep patterns so i do feel like this is so accurate to you guys i really do feel that and let's see what number is going to be synchronistic for your for, for you and your person i do feel like number two is definitely going to be synchronistic and four yep two exactly two and four is going to be really synchronistic okay let's see i want to get quite a few letters so let's get quite a few okay let's see what we have here so we have the letter c u we have j a n o 
P, T and F. So if you guys can see any certain words, then that's definitely clarification. Um, let's see. I mean, we have pot. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you guys could be smoking pot. I don't know, but <laughs> you could be cooking a lot as well, like with a pot. And this U and A really matters with Uranus. Um, let's see what else we have. We have fun. So you guys could really be having a lot of fun. Very like intimate fun as well. I'm hearing like old age old age pensioner as well so you guys are going to be old when you like you're going to possibly be in your more elderly age when you meet this person but for some of you if you're already probably over like 50 60 and you're watching this i do feel like you will grow old with this person but if you're like 20s or you're 16 i do definitely feel like you're going to be with this person for an extremely long time okay um on the top as well so you guys could be very very like strong in terms of your um the way you are successful you like to be on top all the time it could be uh innuendo as well you know um at as well so it could be a certain location that really kind of is your place you also have no as well so you could both be quite stubborn <laughs> um i think that's it that's all i'm kind of seeing at the moment yeah that's all i'm kind of seeing at the moment guys so let's have a look at your channel message and let's see what's kind of coming in for this. So the first one I'm getting is definitely intense. Okay, intense is coming through really strongly. I'm really going to try and write as, you know, neatly as possible so you guys can see. Um, okay, what else? I'm getting the word lollipop. So it could be um, a song. It could be like some sort of innuendo i don't know i definitely feel like this is very very sexual so i'm gonna say sexual and intimate i feel like a lot of you are going to be unlocking something within you as well that you didn't actually know was there which is really good and i need to put a heart next to it i'm getting the name jasmine so you could be relating to um jasmine and aladdin that sort of thing i'm definitely getting yeah i'm getting disney so that could be a very big thing for you guys i'm also getting marvel and lots of different corporations that have like big franchises uh let's see what else i'm getting the name david as well david i'm also getting hopper which kind of reminds me of um is it hopper from stranger things i love stranger things but i can't remember his name so i'm getting the word hopper um i'm getting like i'm getting really intense kind of um like visuals so i'm getting like all the things that people find taboo so weed smoking that sort of thing i feel this person just likes to kind of let loose but not everyone is going to be like this okay guys just to put that out there um but i feel like for some reason i'm really getting that i feel like for, for a lot of you your person could have done that when they were younger or they could have just been around people like that and they could have just like cut them off sort of thing but I'm getting like weed and things, so I'm not sure. It doesn't have to be that they smoke it. They could, it, I don't know, it just could be something to do with that. But not always, okay, guys, just take this as it resonates. Um, I'm getting a car, so they could have quite an expensive car or like cars. Um, someone who's very hippie, they also like surfing as well. So in terms of this person, now I've got surfing, I'm really getting someone with long hair. Long hair, I'm getting like blonde. Um getting somebody who works nine to five but wants um to work by themselves but wants um to work on their own with the scorpio in uranus as well as somebody who's very secretive in terms of their work they won't ever tell anybody what they're working on because they like to keep it private so they could be somebody who's very private I'm getting sandy beaches as well sandy beaches and i'm also getting la i'm getting la california la cali i'm also getting just usa america so i'm also getting the word flower as well so that is your reading guys this is what i wrote down so if you guys want to screenshot that or anything like that sorry about my writing i'm really trying to make it neat but this table is very very flimsy so those are your extra messages thank you so much for watching guys if you like this video don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up and all my private readings are down below so if you're interested then please hit me up and i will speak to you very soon much love
Hi, hello Queen of Mystery. Let's get started with your reading. So we have the gorgeous yellow calcite. So this is making me feel like you guys are going to be in a relationship with someone who's really, really open, very, very fun. It's going to be a really happy relationship, okay? So we also have some channel messages that I'm going to be doing for your group. And we also have the astral dice, normal dice, and some letters as well. So let's get started. So we're going to kind of go along on the group as we go and not going to kind of pull out all the cards first. So we have the overall energy, we have butterfly emerging, that's so pretty. Take the leap of faith. So for a lot of you guys, you could be worrying whether this is the right person. You could be kind of curious as to have I made a mistake, that sort of thing. I feel like for a lot of you guys, it could be a relationship that really gets you out of your shell. In terms of the way you love, I feel like it's going to be something that you've never really come across before. It's going to be, and you're going to have quite a few people around you when you meet this person, I feel like. That's kind of the environment that I'm feeling. So we also have north and Ode destiny we also have scorpio the animal it's so funny because we have scorpio in group two as well so if you relate to this group then feel free to go look at group uh, number two as well so we also have rest you've been working hard take a nap and get some rest so for a lot of you guys you could be resting with this person like you could be in terms of like you just like sleeping with this person uh you could just be getting cozy with them and really like intimate it's going to also mean that you guys just need to take a rest from manifesting this person because you possibly think about them quite a lot, okay? We also have structural support and self-worth. So this person will make you feel really, really good about yourself. They'll make you feel cosy, almost like you're in the womb again. Like they'll make you feel really, really good about yourself. And they'll make you feel like you are the only person on the earth. That is so cute. I love that message. That's so lovely. So with this Scorpio and the North Node, it's making me feel like you guys are probably going to meet in a really unusual place, or you're going to meet in a really a really transformative time. Scorpio is all about transformation, and so is the butterfly. So you're definitely going to meet each other after you've had that extreme transformation. And we also have someone who is extremely deep, really like primal, very lusty. Someone who's very sexual. So I really love this. It's really really gorgeous. With this Destiny, it also makes me feel like you guys are possibly changing careers. So you could be meeting this person when you change your career. And this relationship is going to feel really, really good. Like, it's going to feel so, like, deep and raw and yum. <laughs> okay, this is really hitting my Scorpio side. <laughs> you know, I'm Scorpio sun, so this really, really hits me. Um, so the fact we've got destiny, and this is all about soul school, learning curve, maturing, that sort of thing. The fact we have it in Scorpio means you definitely have gone through a massive transformation. And this person has as well. Both of you would have gone through the same thing. You know, you would be mirroring each other. And this kind of makes me feel like it's going to be like, I don't know why, but I'm getting like a butterfly looking at a mirror or like being like attacking a mirror to kind of trying to like get through to the other side. And it kind of makes me feel like you guys are literally going to be mirroring each other. Like you really want this to happen quicker, you know, but I do feel like it's, you just need to support yourself guys and understand that your self-worth is the most important thing. And this person's going to really help you emerge. And this this flower right in the middle is so sacred. I feel like it's, they're going to make you feel like you're so loved. It's unreal. And it's just set in the stars. I feel like your astrology is probably going to be really, really like similar to this other person. Not in a sense that you have the exact same planets and placements. It just feels like you both are just a, a great match. Like it's almost like if you put both your birth charts in like a calculator, you both would be like extremely compatible. And I feel like this is almost like an unusual compatibility as well, because I feel like with Scorpio, they can be very unusual people, you know. <laughs> um, they also can be quite um, just intense. So I do feel like your your chart will probably kind of establish that as well. They'll put your, your chart and their chart will show that also. So we also have Rebirth. Oh my God. <laughs> That's crazy. This group has gone through so much crap. Oh my God. This is insane. This is insane. Okay, we also have the, okay, I'm going to move this over here. Let's see if I can hold it there. So we also have the Five of Cups. We also have the Six of Pentacles and the Empress. So the more you invest in yourself, the more this person is going to come in quicker. The more you, I'm really getting a weird message. The more you pertain to your, I'm getting the words, the more you pertain to your donate, donations, the more this person is going to come in. So what does that mean? So the more you invest in yourself, the more you invest in others and create partnerships with others, friendships, that sort of thing, and create a natural bond with yourself. What does that mean? It means to, <clears throat> excuse me, understand yourself at a raw level <clears throat> and talk to yourself. I'm sorry, guys, I'm coughing so much. And the five of cups makes me feel like this is past energy. 
you guys are focusing on the past too much for some of you for some of you you really don't give a shit about the past because <laughs> i feel like you've kind of gone through that but for some of you who are really in this transformative energy and you're like oh my god i'm never going to find anyone it's really really shit you're going to change that it's going to change okay and this six of pentacles is making me feel like everything's just going to be completely balanced like it's going to be no worries completely fine the empress is making me feel like this person's going to see you as someone who's so powerful you know masculine or feminine it's going to make you feel so powerful and they're gonna connect with you on a really raw deep basis oh i love this group this is gorgeous okay nourishment exactly and this kind of makes me feel like about self-worth as well like it's gonna feel like it's got structure it's gonna make you feel like everything is like committed you just feel so freaking comfortable in this relationship you're gonna be like you have no worries i'm hearing like you have no worries for the rest of your days <laughs> okay hakuna matata <laughs> and moving forward fearlessly exactly this is all about this this is coming out of this crappy yucky gross energy obviously i'm not saying that transform transformation isn't beautiful it is but it's also freaking messy you know it's freaking messy sometimes and we also have the home best spirit be here now exactly so focus on the focus on the now and i know you guys are going to probably rolling your eyes like vicky ew no i don't want to do that definitely do that okay and we also have the uh number seven twice uh here and here so i definitely feel like that's really coming through we also have the number five uh 22 and 47 so if those are your numbers then you know keep that in mind we also have number nine take time out this is definitely giving me the vibes that you guys need to slow down you need to just completely slow down because we've got rest we've got be here now and we've got take time out and nourishment it's like literally just nourish yourself guys don't neglect yourself okay don't do that and i really feel like this is resonating with me okay <laughs> i'm victim to this also we also have expansion spread your wings and soar share your message and shine your light show the world what you're made of this is gorgeous i love this this is all about um putting yourself first i feel like i've got a lump in the back of my throat that's really strange i don't know why i'm getting that it feels really weird and uncomfortable Ugh. okay oh guys i really do feel like you've gone through the ringer okay so let's see what we have here in terms of your person let's see what planets and things we have here so we have neptune with libra in the 10th house so as we have libra in with neptune in the 10th house when we have neptune in the 10th house this is all about people who have creative and nurturing abilities that are very intuitive and they can't turn them on and off so i do definitely feel like it's going to be a very very spiritual relationship and literally as i said balance we have libra so Libra is all about balance. Libra is so gorgeous. Libra is so gorgeous because Libra is all about love, romance, balance, like consistency um, and fairness. And I do feel like you guys have that very strongly. If you have Scorpio or Libra like really strongly in, in your chart, this is your reading, okay, for sure. And if you don't, don't worry about it, guys, okay? So take it as it resonates. Let's see what number for you to look out for. I don't feel like it could be a number two. There we go, two exactly so they feel like balance is so good for you number two is just you really look out for number two seven four that sort of thing and six um if any of these numbers are resonating with you then that's definitely going to be extra clarification so let's have a look and see what letters are coming through i'm going to take a nice massive chunk of letters because i really feel like it's going to be a big word in here that we need to kind of look out for i'm going to take a couple more i definitely feel like the number two is really really important for you guys i just feel like partnerships are your number one thing and I know obviously they're the number one thing for everyone, but for you guys, I feel like you've wanted a relationship for your literally your whole life. And I feel like a lot of you have been very, very kind of um, intensely focused on wanting a relationship with. There is nothing wrong with that guy. I just want to clarify that. There's nothing wrong with that. I just feel like it's just a very intense need for it and an intense craving, which I really I love it. It's just so yummy. Okay, so let's see what less we have. We have G, Q, L, I, O, P, K, J, A, and T. So I'm getting uh, Pat, so P-A-T, so could Patrick, could be Patricia. Uh, we have Jat, um, could be another name. We also have two, or the top. So this is similar to um, the previous group. I feel like they always wanted to be on top in terms of like their career and things like that. Could be something like an innuendo as well, guys. We have lit. I don't know why I'm saying that, but we have lit as well. So you guys could want to get lit. I don't know, guys. I don't say that normally. Um, we have we have jail. So you guys could feel like you were in a jail for a very long time, felt restricted, you know. But this this relationship is going to make you feel the complete opposite to that. 
what else do we have if you guys can see any sort of word then you guys you know that's totally fine I also have goat as well I don't know what that means isn't there like a like a word for that I don't know I, I, I'm, I'm not down with the kids guys I'm an old soul okay <laughs> um let's see what else we have there is I'm not really getting any other word um no I'm not seeing any other word that I'm really picking up on so if you guys are picking up on any other word then that's amazing and great so I'm also going to do an intuitive message and we're going to see what else is coming in for this group so group three so excuse my writing guys it's going to be a bit messy because this table is very unstable so it's hard to write on it so let's see what else i'm getting channeling so birds are very important so look out for those as synchronous synchronicities um i'm getting a igloo don't know why i'm getting that but i'm getting an igloo and i'm putting my hand up like this i'm not sure why i feel like it could be to do with some sort of um tribal kind of um kind of hand gesture i'm not it doesn't feel like stop it feels like that thing they did in peter pan went how like you know i don't know if that's something from the past but i feel like i'm just getting that constantly um i feel like hugs and intimacy are going to be really really important in this relationship very very nurturing warm yummy relationship i'm getting a cancerian so that could be an extra message to some of you guys i'm getting like a mothering kind of um kind of in, it, i'm getting the word inspiration as well inspiration it's gonna be a very inspiring relationship um i'm getting jay shetty which kind of relates to inspiring because i know that he is a very like inspirational teacher oops just put pen on my uh, tablecloth that's great <laughs> um i feel like this person is um obviously jay shetty's an amazing person i love his stuff so i do feel like this person is going to possibly like him or it's going to be that sort of person who's very inspirational speaker. I'm definitely getting the word top again. So I want to be on top. There's somebody who's very aspirational. They love their career. Career comes first, but love is also very, very important. Um, I'm getting the name T Tamsin as well, or Tenzin. So that could be your name. Uh, I'm getting a crystal ball and tarot. So that could be something that could pertain to your relationship could be something that you're interested in they're interested in i'm getting a country but i'm not sure what country it is can you tell what country it is? i'm getting australia which is interesting getting australia um what else i'm hearing the word caltech and i think that or cal calmet cal calumet some sort of like brand or company um I'm getting fixing as well, the word fixing. They like to fix things in terms of like the relationship and DIY. Um, I'm getting the UK as well. I'm getting France. Um, and I'm feeling this person has quite pale skin or could be just Caucasian. <clears throat> well, so I'm feeling black hair. Very, very strong black hair. I'm feeling that really strongly. They're really emphasising that. Um, their hair is quite messy, quite messy hair. So it could be curly, could be, be a little bit like rough and very sexy. Quite large lips. The lips are something that is quite prominent. They have just really nice skin as well. Um, and they like the colour blue. The colour blue is very, very prominent. I'm circling that. That's very prominent. And they like kind of anything to do with waves and surfing. Anything to do with water is really, really a thing. I definitely feel like what manifesting through water is going to be a really good thing for you guys to try i feel like and rose quartz is coming through really strongly so that is your reading guys these are the messages that i got so if any of this resonates with you then please let me know i'm also getting the word hannah montana as well so if any of these resonate then let me know and obviously i'm sorry about my writing it is a bit messy so thank you so much for watching guys if you like this reading don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up comment down below and if you'd like a private reading all my information is down below and i'll speak to you very soon much love Bye. Hello group number four, let's get started with your reading. So we're also going to have some intuitive messages along with astro dice, dice and some letters. So thank you so much for clicking on this video, let's get started. So we have the blue gold stone, this crystal I'm obsessed with, it looks like the night sky, I freaking love it. So this is definitely going to be a relationship that is meant to happen, it's synchronistic and I feel like you're going to meet at a really unusual place. I'm getting Harrods or something that's like you know that i don't know if you guys know the film uh serendipity but that's coming through really strongly and sliding doors that sort of thing and also back to the future so a lot of kind of futuristic time travel kind of deal so we have crane whoa 
Whew, okay, so communication is going to be really <coughs> important in your relationship. Oh my God, you guys need to talk about your feelings because, whoa, that really attacked my throat. <laughs> okay, there's definitely a message coming through for you guys. And I'm also getting um, owls, like owl posts. You know, like in Harry Potter where owls deliver the post. I'm getting that for this group as well. So anyways, <clears throat> well, that was a big coughing fit. So we have Crane, Surrender, Let Go of Limiting Beliefs, Be as expansive in your thoughts as your soul is. So exactly, that's exactly what it says. That's what I'm going for. There isn't anything I need to say about that. Apart from just surrender to where you're going, guys. Okay, so we have Aquarius, the innovator. We have Venus, love, beautiful. That's perfect. And then we also have uh, the, new, the Numinous uh, Mystery. That's really gorgeous. Look at those crystals. Oh, yas. Yas, bitch. Love that. So I love the combination of Aquarius with Venus because Aquarius is such a gorgeous sign to be in terms of love because it's a really um, accepting sign. It's people who are very accepting and they're very spiritual. It's very spiritual love. And it's going to be a, quite a mysterious love. It's going to be something that's probably going to talk about aliens with each other or like the mysteries, like... Um, doing shadow work together, talking about psychic abilities, the occult, the unknown, like anything to do with conspiracy theories is going to be full on with this group. I feel like a lot of you are going to like um, X-Files, anything to do with like CSI, uh, Bones, that sort of thing, anything to do with un unravelling something. These are gorgeous, these kind of remind me of Pyrite, so Pyrite could be your thing as well. I love this, like these planets are just, oh I love it, they're so gorgeous, so yummy, very hot and sexy this um, so we also have your being helped. Heaven is working behind the scenes to help you even if you don't see results yet. Okay guys, just putting that out there guys. If you know, if you don't think anything's happening for you, it will happen for you guys. I promise you and I'm going to keep that there because that's very important. So Venus with love, this is all about romance. It's going to be a relationship that's very romantic. Um, a relationship that's very luxury and sensual as well. And we also have embrace. I love that card, that's stunning. We also have center yourself. That's very important, I feel like, for you guys, because I feel like for some of you guys, it could it's just important for you guys to really center yourself because a lot of you guys could be overthinkers. Joy. And then we have the card ancestral support. So this is basically you're being helped by your ancestors. And it's really important for you to focus on joy as much as possible. And I really think it's interesting how we have blue gold stone and we have mystery. And this is I feel like it's a very mysterious stone. Cause it's all it looks like the night sky so i definitely feel like for you guys it's going to be a very mysterious relationship i love this this is so gorgeous okay so a very joyful relationship as well and it's going to be a really understanding relationship and as like aquarius as i said very understanding we have cleanse yep that's so that's so important cleanse and censor yourself yeah exactly so very cleansing relationship very new very like I'm getting the word destruct destructive, but it feels like it's it's almost like a tower moment when you guys come together because you're going to realise stuff about yourself. And this is also going to be the sort of, oh my God, I love this. I'm seeing you kind of have a sudden, sudden realisation when this person comes in and you're going to be like, whoa, I didn't actually think this person was going to come in. You're going to be like, holy crap, this is amazing. And I'm also getting the Eiffel Tower. We do have the Eiffel Tower here. I'm really focusing on it. So something to do with travel and France and something like that. I'm also getting the um, Taj... Taj Mahal as well. Sorry, I didn't say that right. We have ancestors. Oh my god, that's so great. We have ancestors twice, and they're both green, and they both had the number eight there as well. We have eight and eight and nine here. Gorgeous. Okay, so from the tarot, we have the magician. If I can put this guy here, the magician, Queen of Swords. Yep, Aquarius energy coming through really, really strongly. And then we also have the Seven of Swords in reverse, which is great. I love that in reverse. Don't like it upright. I like it in reverse. <laughs> so it can stay like that. Yeah, I love that. Let me just move this crane card because I feel like it's going to fall over. So definitely for you guys, you're going to be very, very interested in this person when you first meet them. I don't see any doubt about that. I feel like you guys are going to be having a really, really gorgeous, like open relationship. Not in terms of open. When I say open, I don't mean like dating other people. Um, I mean that you guys are going to be very accepting of each other. It's going to be something where you're both really really open with each other and it's going to be something that is going to create the i'm getting cre creating ultimate boundaries so both you're really going to be just so on the same wavelength it's unreal and they're going to be so interested in your femininity as well and if you're a masculine don't worry about it guys i just feel like they're gonna like the opposite quality that they don't have so say if they're a masculine they'll like your feminine and if they're a feminine they'll like your masculine okay so they'll just really 
like that part of you that you don't always see, you know, the part of you that possibly you don't even like. And we'll get a five, five, five on this as well. So we have balance, exactly. So this is similar to centre yourself. It's going to be a very balanced relationship. And I feel like the more balance you have in your life and create it with yourself and kind of just get away from stuff. I feel like you guys have a really busy mind and I feel like your mind is almost like these cranes, just kind of just a lot of stuff going on. But you're trying to work, you try and work with the flow, work with whatever is going on. And when it says let go of limiting beliefs, it's like you guys are really kind of in, in a box. You put yourself in a box, guys. And honestly, it's not unusual. I do the same thing. It's, it's so easy to do, you know. But you do have a lot of, oh my God, exactly. You have a lot of expansion, guys, and you need to break free from that box. This relationship is going to help you to break free from this. It's going to help you to break free. I love this. I always get the song Breaking Free when I see this from High School Musical. Oh my God. Rebirth is assured. Perfect. <coughs> Excuse me. Number five again as well. We have, oh my God, this is crazy. Surrender now. Yep, and we have that mysterious energy again with the two animals that come out at night. If we have another night animal, I'm going to freak. Oh, <laughs> I never say I'm going to freak. Um, we have the ant spirit time to collaborate. So you could meet this person through work. You could, and it's basically learning to balance with other people, learn to relate yourself with other people. And not to say that you can't relate yourself with other people, but I feel like for a lot of you guys, you could have been messed around quite a lot or dealt with a lot of crappy people. And now you're learning to kind of build that confidence up to be with other people. And we have three and nine, which is 12, which is three. So we have five, three and one. Last card we have is goddess. On your divine feminine energy, see your inner beauty, love every part of you. Beautiful. So for a lot of you guys, you could have gone through a massive intense rebirth, something that just you was just like, ew, get this over and done with, please. Um, so I really feel like you are surrendering to that and you're really learning to collaborate with other people and learn to let people come in. I feel like for a lot of you, if you are Aquarius, you can be quite stubborn, a little bit cold hearted depending on your placement, <laughs> but it, it could, it just feels like you need to just let go and let this happen because this is coming in guys. This is really coming in. It's very beautiful, very open. I'm getting flowers and flourishing in the word 10 and that word 10. Okay. The number 10. Wow. But the word 10 as well. Um, but it just feels like there's an open energy of like, okay, what's going to happen next? But it's like you're being helped, so it's totally fine. And we want to cough a lot, guys. You need to talk about your feelings, okay? And also this, sorry, guys, this really reminds me of like this masculine and feminine. Every time I get this card, it always reminds me of a relationship because it's like the more you embrace yourself and honour yourself, love every part of you, um, this person's going to come in and you're both, and it's both understanding your feminine and your masculine side, and this person's going to understand that a lot. Okay, and this person and you are both needing to surrender through this rebirth because I know it's intense, guys, but you can do it, okay? So let's see what else we have from the Astro Dice. Okay, guys, so we have the fourth house. We then have Capricorn and we have Uranus. So with Capricorn in the fourth house, this is making me feel like you guys are either going to be choosing to work really hard for your family and to go out to work. Or you would be somebody who would stay at home with the children and be really kind of nurturing to them. Um, this Uranus is also very a very intense energy. So you guys are going to have a very intense relationship. It's going to be very stunning. And with Uranus in the fourth house, this is about you kind of helping people, but not at the expense of your own happiness. So it can be quite a conflicting energy. So if you guys actually have this placement, it can be quite difficult. But I do feel like it's very, very important for you to just balance yourself. And you could meet this person at work. I definitely feel that for you guys. So if you guys are an Aquarius or a Capricorn, this is just extra clarification. But don't worry, guys, if it's not, okay? So let's see what number you should be looking out for in terms of this partnership. Three. So we have three. I feel like three and five is very, very, <clears throat> very kind of, it's very important three one and five and we also have number nine and one here which is ten so definitely completion and once you balance yourself out it's going to help you to complete this kind of um rebirth as well as can help you to create a much more balanced lifestyle and i'm really looking at that card of your being helped and it has a little girl and she's like talk like holding this dolphin and she's kind of like embracing like both sides you've got like the deeper part and the more like kind of on the surface I feel like she's really kind of wanting to do both. So it does feel like this relationship is going to be very, very balanced. Both of you are going to, possibly one of you is going to be more deeper than the other. But I do feel like if not, both of you are going to be as deep as each other, which is so stunning. So let's see what letters we have. We have W, we have E, we, we have Z, V, K, 
B, we also have F, and we also have X and T. Sorry if you guys can hear the background noise, there is some uh, goings on in my house at the moment. <laughs> so I'm not sure whatever word is coming up, but it's not really like a word that's sticking out for me. I'm do I'm seeing the word bet. So I'm not sure what that's about, but it could be like a bet to meet this person, I don't know. Um, or you could be a little bit kind of uncertain whether this is going to be the right person. You're like, oh, I bet it's going to not really turn out very well, but that's not true. We also have vets. This person could be a vet, uh, wet. So it could be, you could meet this person when it's raining or it could be, you know, an innuendo. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Um, we also have... I think that's it. That's what I'm really seeing at the moment. If you guys can see a word, then that's extra clarification. So I'm really coughing in this group. You're really hit. You guys are really hitting a nerve with my throat chakra at the moment. Your th my throat and my heart chakra are really going for it at the moment. So group four, let's see what messages are coming in for you. I'm seeing the Teletubbies. No idea why. I was very, very random, but the Teletubbies are coming in. Like Teletubbies or Tweenies. If you are British, you'll know what I'm talking about. But I feel like the Teletubbies, Teletubbies are more international. So um so that's extra clarification. I'm just getting like old, like childhood, just something to do with childhood. So it could be like TV, memories, that sort of thing. I'm getting the word growth and a tree as well. So that's really coming in very strongly. I'm getting the word Smarties. I'm getting a lot of childhood references and Smarties in England are like chocolate candy. So I know in like America and in Canada, I think they have more like, they're more like chalky. I'm not sure, but that's definitely that like sweets coming through. Um, I'm going to like say sweets as well. So it's going to be a very sweet relationship. It's going to be a relationship that feels really, really comfortable and very, very happy. Uh, let's see what else. I'm um, getting the colours red, blue and green. I'm getting the word happiness as well. I can tell when I start to channel more, my writing gets more messy. Um, I'm getting a circle. So I'm getting you guys are going to come for full on circle. Like you're going to come around like with growth and you're going to end a cycle that doesn't serve you anymore i'm just getting this symbol as well and it kind of reminds me of harry potter i don't know what this symbol is <clears throat> but i don't know i'm also getting the, the harry potter symbol as well which is uh is it that where it's like a triangle and it's like a line through it i don't know but these are your messages guys sorry about my writing it can be a little bit messy um i'm also seeing like two little people they're kind of like this like a girl and a boy so that could also be extra message for you guys too. And obviously this doesn't have to be a masculine and feminine relationship, you know, it doesn't have to be a male rela a male female relationship also. But that is your reading guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a big old thumbs up if you liked it, comment down below. And I have all my private reading rating uh private reading rates down below. Thank you so much for watching. And I also feel like you guys are gonna be in a massive community with this relationship. Very community, very community based and co create co creation as well. Love it. Also, that's the same with that. Time to co-create. Beautiful. Uh, time to collaborate. So thank you so much for watching. I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye.